Um, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the new uh, products that came out, the Nordic Collection and the Call to Serve, which I believe they came out with um, just for me because the day it came out, my baby girl was um, commissioned into the Foreign Service. So I'm going to show you some fun things you can do with it and how nicely it pairs with the Nordic um, Collection. And we are going to build a sketch on a fast fab and do some fun tricks with it. So lots of fun stuff happening today. I think it will be well worth the wait. So let's just go ahead and head on over to my desktop and check that out. Okay, here we go. So if you have not seen it, the Nordic collection came out and it actually came out with a tree and mountains which I will be showing you some fun stuff you can do with that later. But I want to start with just showing you that these beautiful, beautiful papers um, can be used for so much more than just winter. So if you live somewhere where it is not cool, then you can still use these because look at these beautiful papers. That blue could be used for anything. Um, this beautiful pattern could be used for anything. This does not have to be snow. Um, so I just want to point out that when we come out with our collections, they can be used for so much more and they pair nicely with other things. So when we build our Fast Fab on our Fast Fab today, we're actually going to build and we're going to use some of the mats from the Nordic collection because Call to Serve does not have mats. So we're going to use the mat from there. Um, the beautiful embellishments are foiled, which has been a nice touch we've been doing. Um, and we are going to actually use one of the stickers from the Nordic in our um, layout today with our call to serve. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, well, let's move over to the Fast and Fab pages because that's what we're going to build on. So these are the Nordic um, Cool Shades Fast and Fab pages. And so the obvious thing to do would be use them with the Nordic collection, right? because the colors look so beautiful together and everything coordinates. But what we're going to do is we are going to do a sketch challenge using the new Call to Serve. And when we're picking our papers, we can blend some of these beautiful Nordic papers in and make it all work together. These stickers are beautiful for Veterans Day coming up. So if you have any parades to go to or any fun things, even if you don't have a military member or a foreign service member, you can use these in your parades and your fun things that are happening around town. So, okay, so let's get started on our sketch. I'm going to use one from the sketchbook. Super cute, and it fits exactly what I want to do. Plus, um, since we don't have a uh, chevron punch like this right now, we are actually going to use our candy cane and make something similar, and that's going to be really cute too but you could also um, use some of the stickers to do the same type of thing. So there's multiple ways we can get this effect, but I'm gonna show you the measurements and how to get this uh, fun border that we're going to do. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this page from here. And I like to work with the pages out of the book. So this is a great opportunity for me to show you how to take pages out of your book if you like to work with them out. So you just take these little um, straps and they just lace through like this. I like to teach multiple things while I'm, while I'm on air. So, and then you take the whole back cover off. And then this, you treat it just like a page. So you pretend like this is a page coming out and then it goes on here when you go to put it back. You're just gonna pull it off right now and the pages come right out just like this. When you go to put it back, you just do that in reverse, and we will do that when we're done with the page for anybody who wants to stick around and learn how to do that, because um, that is a common thing that people ask me. I always tell my people that I feel like they on purpose don't learn how to do it because they like um, to have that time with me getting their pages in, and that makes me happy. So don't feel like you have to learn how to do it if you have somebody that likes to do it for you, but if you want to, I'm going to teach you how to do that today. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and do the, um, the border that I want to teach you how to do first. So we're going to pick a paper to do that out of. And I think that what will look nice there, let's see what's over here in our Nordic pack. 
I'm picking everything right here in front of you so you can see how nice and easy it is. I think I want to use um, I want to use this blue. I think that would look really nice across here. So we're going to go ahead and use this blue with our call to serve. And I'll show you the pictures we're going to be using. This is baby girl on her um, swearing in day. And she's with her dad and her and her grandpa. And so we're going to do that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is punch with the candy cane straight. And this is going to come right in and you just put it in and you punch across nice and easy. Now, I could have folded it and punched them both at the same time and gotten a nice chevron effect, but it would have had a um, strip right down the middle and we could have put a sticker or something down there. And that was, uh, I think, two weeks ago, YouTube, if you want to go check that out. But we're not going to fold it. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it at one and seven eighths. I found one and seven eighths works really nicely for the look I'm going for. So we're gonna cut it. And then some people use post-it notes. Some people, everybody uses something different. I am a little bit of a lazy scrapbooker. So I don't always have all of my stuff right handy. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape down here. It's repositionable. It'll come right off. I could use any old scrap that I wanted to. We're going to flip this so it's the opposite way. And we're going to just tape it down nice and straight. I don't think that was straight. That's why it's repositionable, guys. I'm going to put it down nice and straight. Okay. I think that's pretty straight. So I don't think it's straight. And you know how I could tell it wasn't straight? Because look, okay, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to actually line it up. I don't usually take the time to get quite so precise, but when I'm on air, I feel like I need to up my game a little. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bring it out so that this edge right here is along this line. See how you can see through there? And that way I can get it straight. So there are lots of these little tricks that make it so that we can get it just right. And if you take the time, you can use those tricks and make it, make it be just perfect. So we're going to put it in and we're going to take and see how I flipped it. So it's going the opposite direction. And now we're going to come down and because I did it at one and seven eighths, see how I eliminated the, um, the extra in between there and we get that cute chevron look. So that's what I was going for. And that's why I didn't do the fold because I didn't want that that um, eighth of an inch or so line down the middle. So here we go. Okay, so this is just gonna go across the top. It's this border that's gonna go here. And now I want some different colors across the top. So I'm just going to pick some colors I like and I need them to be about one and a half by three. What's really nice is Creative Memory started giving us the sizes. So on theirs, it's three by three, but I didn't want it to come down quite so far. So I'm doing one and a half by three. So that's a great thing about sketches. I wanna make sure you understand that sketches are, yes, they gave us the sizes, and that will help you if you like to have sizes, but don't ever feel locked into that. You can do it however you want. So I'm just gonna come down. I'm gonna do a one and a half inch strip. And I'm gonna flip it. Ooh, I do like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a three inch one here and then a three inch one here. And now I need two more colors that I like with this. And I have lots to choose from, right? Because I can choose from the uh, Call to Serve, but I can also choose, we talked about how the Nordic goes so nice with it. So let's just choose some that we like. Oh, I think I want this. And this. Okay. So we're going to take 
I think I could use both sides of this and that way I only have to cut a one and a half inch strip from one. And you know, sometimes you might look at that and be like, okay, since I need to cut two strips from, um, and I can use front and back, then why not just use one sheet of paper so that you're using both sides, right? Because then you're saving a little bit of paper. Okay. My border is running away since it has a little bit of repositionable tape on it. Now, we're just going to put these across the top, just like it shows in the sketch. And notice how we are, when I, when I cut this, I wanted the freedom on there, so I made sure I got that. And now this is going to go down, and then I'll put this one down. And now I'm going to use the opposite side, the stars, love that. And then I'm going to put a little pop of green in here. I don't like that quite up against the stars. I'm allowed to change my mind. And we're going to just use it on the other side. So I could cut another one and a half inch strip, but I like it just like that. And now I'm going to take my chevrons. And they are going to go down here, and there's going to be a sticker there, so that's why I left a little bit of room. I will use my nice silicone mat. Put this down. So that's going to go there. And now I am going to grab the sticker. And it's going to go right across here. Okay, so let's go back to our sketch. We're going to have pictures here in the center, and I'll show you those in a second. We're actually going to use um, a journal box right from the Nordic pack, and that's going to go nicely with our, um, with our call to serve. And now we're going to do across the bottom. So I'm going to grab my paper that has the little stars on it. And now what I want to do is I'm going to choose this 12 inch side. Let me make sure that's still 12 inches. Yep. Okay. And I would like to get a strip of stars to go across the bottom for this part. So I am going to choose this side. Now, if I had uh, seen and there were like a half a set of stars on both, I would have just cut this down. I would have cut the sliver off so I could get the actual stars. And then what's really nice is our trimmer has this little handy dandy uh, line that comes out and it's tucked on both sides. And that way I can make sure it's gonna cut where I want it to cut and I'm going to end up with um, straight stars. So let's make sure it's lined up this way too. So I always line it up top and bottom and then you cut this way for smaller amounts because you have the full tray for it to sit on. And then this shows you that you lined it up the way you want it and cut. And now I have a strip of stars. And we're just going to put these right across the bottom. So here they go. I'm going to go this way. And so there's our stars. And now I'm going to add a sticker. And I'm actually going to add this sticker. And it's from the Nordic. And it's going to go right across here. And then I would like this to go across here. So we end up with just our chevrons down the middle. So that's covering that up. Okay. So now we've put together the, um, the top and the bottom borders. And now we're just going to add this part into the middle. I am not going to add extra paper behind here. I am perfectly happy with what's already here. I am just going to cut my pictures to size. And I'm going to show you. Let's see, did I grab my one that says photo on it? Good question, Cassie. This is what happens when you have multiple trimmers. 
So um, I always keep one that is my dull one that is starting to cut a little raggedy on my paper. And when it starts to cut a little raggedy on your paper, it's still good for photos. So I put a P on that one and I actually had it stored under this trimmer instead of the other trimmer. But um, I keep the photo one there because I like to use my I like to use my trimmer to cut my um, photos in addition to my paper. And so I can pull this out. Now the personal trimmer works really nice for that too, guys. So you can also use that. I am going to trim off the bottom here and then I'm going to cut it at four and a half inches. I'm going to take my other one and I'm going to cut it at four and a half inches. And then I'm going to do a six by three photo. I think I'm actually going to make this three and a quarter. The sketch says three, but I want to get the whole the whole background here because I want the welcome. And now let's look at our sketch again. So we've got this over here. We've got these two pictures up here. Overlap this just a little bit. And now I just need a journal box. And I was gonna use this one, but I think I like this better. I can cut part of this journal box out and it's gonna go right here. So in this case, I'm gonna grab my clear roller and see about how big I want it to be. And this is the great thing about the clear roller is that you can find exactly what you need. So I want it to be one, two, one, two, and about a half of an inch, two and a half. And if we do it by four, I think I'll be happy. So let's bring this to two and a half. And then I'll just have a little bit of writing to do, which is good for me because I don't like to do a lot of writing. So that will make me much happier. And that's going to go there. So put these pictures down. Matting is also really nice, but I like the, the uh, blue right back there. And I feel like there's enough going on on this that I don't want to add any extra. So I'm not going to. This over, and now put this down. My writing goes there, and voila, we completed the sketch challenge. Pretty lickety split, and learned a little technique one and a seven, one and seven eighths to do that, and we have a page done. So I hope that that was helpful. And I hope you, oh, you know what? I told you guys that at the end, if you wanted to stick around, I would show you how to put the album back together. So I will remember to do that. I'm so proud of myself. Okay. So you want to take your pictures or your pages and stack them and get all of these little thingies lined up, these little loops. And then you're just going to take and you're going to stick them through here and then you're going to take your other side and it is easy to sometimes miss them so what you do to make sure you don't miss them is go like this I'm, I'm holding it i'm holding it by the straps if you can't see and i'm just shaking it and none of the pages fell out so that means i got them all and then the way to remember um th which way this one goes on is you put it right through here and you just pretend like that's a page coming out because people sometimes put it on this way. But the way to remember that is pretend like that's a page. So then you put that down. And then here, you're going to have your cover open. It's going to come up through here. And then you're going to lace it into here. And you can pull the heck out of these. I have never, ever broken one. And I pull them as hard as I can. I was waiting for the break on camera. That would have been comical. But there we go. So we pull it through. And it's nice and tight. And if by some crazy reason you are stronger than me and you manage to break it, Creative Memory stands by our products. So you don't have to worry about that. And then you just slide that in. And voila, your pages are in your album.